Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to our doodle challenge. This is the challenge that uh, Lee from Lee's Art Studio and myself are collaborating on to bring to you lots of doodles. Lee and I have already done quite a few videos of uh, do different doodle ideas that you could use. Uh, the, cha the challenge for March is just to do anything on green. So this is obviously not my, my March doodle challenge. This is just something to put on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> while I'm talking to you. The hashtag is hashtag 2022 doodle challenge M-A-R. So you can find all the other videos that are in the challenge by using the hashtag. You can click on the hashtag above my title or you can go to the playlist below which will have uh, all of the videos as they are as I find them and put them in the playlist. So if you're watching this video early on there might not be many in the playlist but keep checking back because there will be more videos added throughout the day, throughout the week and possibly throughout the month. Yes, yeah, so the doodle challenge, all, all you have to do is doodle something on any kind of green background paper. So you could use digital paper, scrapbook paper, your know, painty papers. You can create a background, you know, using green paint and, and then doodle on that. Which I haven't done the doodling yet, but that's I might do that in the next video. Um, what else could you doodle on? Digital papers. I did that before. So whatever level or standard you're up to, you can use acrylics, you can use um, watercolour paints, watercolour pencils, colouring pencils um, to doodle with. You, you'll need you'll need some sort of a black fine liner um, or pit artist pen or whatever it is that you like to use. We've been talking about materials and things in the different videos, um, but you could use basically a Faber-Castell pit artist pen, a uh, Micron pen. I use this one today and this one, I think. Um, I'm doing it backwards. I, I just started doodling and then, yeah, got to the end and then gone back to the beginning again. You might also like to have a white um, white pen. So there's, there's a white Posca pen. You can use Posca pens or you can use uh, jelly rolls. Um, they're very good for doing the white. You might like some gold. I didn't get any gold pens out because I had um, every intention of using this gorgeous little tin of gold paints that I absolutely love and it's my new favorite thing and I've had it for ages um, it says it's called SKR art garden mini tin box handmade watercolor and I got it from uh, Amazon and it, I don't think it was I think it wasn't too expensive it was about $15 Australian um, yeah it's gone a little bit funny I have to say because I added too much water uh, the other night when I was playing with it so what I started doing now is I, I add the water in the tin and then I um, take things out of the, because uh, it's gone all, all gooey. <laughs> it's going to need some time to dry, I think. I might leave the lid off, let it dry out. So you might need some gold. I find gold is particularly yummy, I have to say. I cleaned my paints. I'm a little bit dirty now because I've used them, but they're cleaner than what they were. <laughs> I took them out of the, the tray and then I can use a different tray and it doesn't take up as much room. So there's my paints and that's pretty much it. Brush wise, depending on how, how big your doodles are or how big your little, your little, um, if you're going to, if you're going to do what I'm doing, which is these little squares, you might want to use a decent size brush, uh, to paint your, um, background. So you'll need a brush and, um, your yeah, paints or whatever, whatever you want to use on your background. Uh, you could you could do the background with your watercolour pencils and then just um, add water um, or your plain pencils. Uh, I must say also I have seen, I haven't tried it, but if you use your normal pencils, you might have to test it first and find out which marker goes over the top because even though some markers are waterproof and some are better than others, they work, different ones work in different situations. So one might be waterproof but doesn't go over pencil and another one might go over pencil but not be waterproof. So you need to test out your pens to see which one's going to work and make sure something goes over your, uh, your your pencils because they've got that wax coating so that might make it tricky. You might also want something, well you've got your Posca pen but you, you could also use something like Doc Martens. Although you can also use, because this is you know, quite expensive, you can also use liquid paper. It's very similar. So way cheaper, <laughs> very expensive. And then you might like to use the uh, Liquitex Gold that I've used before, but I, as I say, I've been using this uh, this gold paint. So they're all the materials that you could possibly use. Um, 
or, or might like to use but you're basically going to need some sort of a, a fine tip to do your doodling. Uh, stay tuned to the end if you you know you get to the end of the doodling and you think okay that's enough I've seen enough she's rambling on now. <laughs> Skip to the end because I have details about the about the giveaway but you will need to know it's going to be a giveaway for people who have never won anything so that's going to be more information about how you enter for that at the end of the video and then that will be drawn uh, the next part two of the doodle video because part two is going to be when I'm going to I'm going to do some more doodling on uh, some of these other ones that I created that I um, didn't get time to do today so there's um, some more that I can doodle in part two so in this video we're going to do the painting background similar to this but in greens and then we're going to doodle on on those backgrounds and then the next video I will just doodle on those and draw the winner of the uh, the three the winners of the three envelopes <laughs> so you already know now you don't have to watch the end of the video <laughs> so just be subscribed comment on this video if you've never won a prize and I will give you a number press like if everyone can press like and of course if you have won a prize you can still comment thank you very much just um yeah just the people who have not won if you can put somewhere in your comment that you've never won a prize i read all the comments and i will put, make a note uh, of each person that tells me they have not won a prize yeah i just thought it would be uh fun to to give three prizes to people who might have been entering for some time or maybe not maybe they've been entering since last week who knows doesn't matter but this prize it goes to anybody who comments on this doodle video and then you have to watch the next doodle video to watch for the draw and comment that you have seen the draw and then send me an email so you are basically committed to watching the two doodle videos <laughs> um, yes so that's it check out all of the other channels that are entering the doodle videos check out Lee's from Lee's Art Studio I'm sure she has done some a gorgeous doodle video I haven't seen it of course um, but she always does wonderful arty arty things that I can't do <laughs> lots of wonderful things to uh, to watch and look out for there we go that's enough rambling on with the video thank you Those. okay so what I suggest um, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to create some greens now what I suggest with these swatches is that we make our colors um, beforehand because making them on the fly you might not get the color that you want on the paper and also to test them out now this isn't, isn't exactly the same paper but it'll do for the purposes so I'm going to start with the olive green but I'm going to make it a little bit more palatable I'm going to add a bit of water I don't like keep dipping my brush in the water so I use I use a little dipper thing add a bit of water just to sort of okay because you want to make enough water that you might want to use that um, more than once all right so it's a bit of an olive green okay now I'm going to add some of the brighter green it's a bit too bright for my liking on its own and then when I've got a green that I think I might like let's see how that's going that's still quite a bright green or oh, it's sort of a yellow green I might just add a little bit more of this tone it down a little bit and the, my idea is to have um, a predominant overall look of green but not have green in every swatch it's a yellow green okay well we'll have yellow green as one of the colors and now I'm going to use the same color just a little bit less water start with the same sort of yellow green um, if you've got a paint pan that's got a lot more greens it'll be a lot easier <laughs> for, for your green background um, I'm gonna have to mix my greens because I've only got a couple and there's a couple I don't like the green on its own let's just see what that's like it's very spring green isn't it okay so let's add some of this only a small amount to start with it's very because this what's this one cadmium green I assume it's not a real cadmium don't finger paint with anything that says cadmium on it <laughs> okay so that's very um, now very bright so what I'm going to do now is add some of that olive green just to give a different version of it okay 
Okay, so if you put that one with that one, yeah, it's a different. Yeah, that that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. You can see that there's a tone. There's a, you know, it's a similar. It's got some similarities, and that's what I was aiming at. Is is I don't want to have it to look like it's a totally different, off the planet green. All right. So the next green, we've got this malachite or this viridian. Um, they're very very similar. Let's start with that. Won't need very much, I don't think. Add some water. It just helps me to keep my water cleaner for longer. Otherwise, it just it turns to mud instantly. Um, okay, so more of that same yellow green. So we, I want it to kind of look fresh. I don't want it to look muddy green or brown green. I want it to look fresh, but I don't want it to look too bright. <laughs> if that makes sense. But I do want to have a few different greens to choose from. So we might want to have like four greens and then maybe we'll look look for something to sort of go with it. All right, this is probably going to be very forest green. Very similar to that one somehow. Let's put, if we put it up here with this one. A little bit more of this, this one. And then when we think we've got the colours, I'll swatch them all together. Okay, so that's another, a different green. We've got three greens. I think I'd also like to have a blue green. So I'm going to go here. And we're going to start with this green. And maybe some of this one. And then we'll add a bit of blue. Okay, we've got our bright green base. And which blue do we like? Um, I'm thinking, go with the plush Prussian to get a kind of a teal look. I'm thinking, that's this one here. Let's see how that's going. Maybe a little bit more, oh, not that one. All right, let's see how we're going with that. I want to be a little bit more blue. So that it has like an overall blue tinge to it, but the base is green still. Does that make sense? Now, you know, you know that I'm not experienced at this. I just play with it. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not. <laughs> now that's quite dark. Put it down here and see what how it plays with that. Okay, I think that's okay. Well, it's pretty much the same. Okay, you add water, you add paint, you add water, you add paint, it ends up being the same. So we've got four quite differentish greens. Um, so what color would we like to go with it? Well, I'm thinking I'd like some of the Prussian, something more blue. and make it a, a tinge of green with it. A bit of water. Let's just add a bit of maybe that green. But you want to have, see that's way too green, so we'll go more blue now. But you want to have your nine or at least six of the colors already mixed. And then you could mix, when you've done your six colours, you could mix uh, some of them together to create another different colour to go on your nine, your nine little swatches for background. There we go. Now that's, a ni that's quite nice. I quite like that. That plays nice with those. I don't mind that. Okay, so we've got some blue and we've got some greens. I'm thinking um, this... What is it? Naples yellow might be nice. Let's try that. Some water. Now, if you've got a lot of pre-mixed colours, you might not need to do to do this because if you've got like a palette that has um, many colours, then um, you know it could be a lot easier. <laughs> All right, let's have a go with this. Well, it's very uh, pale. Okay, I might add a little bit, a touch of yellow to it because I don't want it to look cream. So I'm going to go with this, a little bit of this pale 
lemon yellow not too much just enough to give it a bit more um, I don't know what the word is yeah see on the yellow side of cream and then tiny tiny touch of that green okay let's see how that's going there we go see that's the yellow that tones in now with um, the greens so we've kind of got a teal and a yellow I might have to go for another version of the yellow just to add some lighter colors okay and let's go with the yellow obviously we don't want that color yellow as our base but we're just going to make it a bit more yellowy with some of that maples Ooh. <laughs> Oops, oops, wrong one. I always go with the wrong ones. Okay, let's try that. That's going to be quite bright, I think. Yeah, so we're just going to get a bit more Naples into it. That's going to be like a darker version of the one that's already there. A bit more Naples. Now we've got all our little colours. We've got seven colours, so that should be enough to create our little swatches that we can then, um, when they're dry, doodle on. But let's just turn this over and just see what colours we've got. So that's my, going to be my contrast. There's my highlights and there's my greens. Actually, now that I get them all together, I don't mind it. I think we can work with that. All right, so I'm going to start with this um, pale yellow. Now, I've splotched green on here already, <laughs> so I'm going to do that one green. I've, all, oh, I've marked out nine squares. So, because I struggle to keep them in a straight line, and I noticed that Creation CC had marked hers out so with pencil on one of her videos. So, if you want to see someone who does this professionally, watch Creation CC. <laughs> now, one thing I watched a beginner's video and um, beginner's watercolor video, and they said don't keep going over it, even if you don't like the shape. Um, it's a little bit; they're a bit long. I probably need to make them a bit squarer. Um, okay, so next colour. All right, let's get rid of this green slotch. See the line vaguely. So the shape's perhaps not going to be what I would have liked. A little bit, as I say, a bit long. Okay, and, you know, not very square. <laughs> but we're just going to do it that way. All right, let's try another green. Let's do one up here. I mean, as you get better motor control or practice this, you're... Um, but my hand don't always do what I want them to, what I want what I want it to do. Like I didn't want to go over there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, we're just creating <laughs> some greenish backgrounds. Now that one's very green, but it seems to dry a little bit better than. Um, oh, I always want to. I want to go back. I'm trying to do what this beginner video in here. This one's not quite watery enough. But if you add water to it, it's going to cause, um, or if it's too wet, it'll cause these runbacks, which don't worry, if, oops, don't worry if you get them because you can always incorporate them in your doodling. Like I'm going to get it here because it's wet at the top and um, it's already dry. So what, what he explained, what this... Uh, video I watched, which I can't remember what it was, explained to us was um, that if, as, as you put your watercolour down, it's already drying and that's going to create, when things dry at different times, it creates these uh, these runbacks. But don't worry too much, they can be incorporated into the uh, doodling. Um, you know, as I say, this is not professional watercolouring, this is just a bit of fun. Um, so maybe I should have take, take some of the excess off. Who knows? Anyway, we're, we're doing it. <laughs> it's getting there. All right, so I think we've done... Oh, did I do this colour? I'll have to just check. I'll put it over here to see. No, I don't think we have. So let's put that one up here because we haven't got anything dark up here. So you can see it's going to be predominantly green. And that was... We'll fill the brief. And then we can do what we like with it. All right, so now we've done all those colours. We can now... Um, Maybe add some of that green that we just used to the yellow and make a totally different green, greeny yellow. 
Yep, those are the new, new colour. <gasps> I just want to go back over it. Very difficult to not go back over it. And I'd like to incorporate, I probably should have had this one up here somewhere as well, but we're just going to um, mix into that same colour. Oh dear, that's... Okay. All right, we have circles <laughs> to play with. A bit close to the edge on that one. All right, let's get that one dry and then we'll start some doodling. So these are the ones we've created today. Uh, this one has turned into a bit of a mess, hasn't it? So we'll have to do something doodly on that. The rest of the colours were actually not too bad. But yeah, we messed up one, but that's okay, we'll fix it. So these ones I tried mixing the colours together and you do you get some interesting patterns. These ones I mix the colours together using the same sort of Naples and, and turquoise. This one was more green and yellow, but I've got this gold shimmer in it. Um, that one's not really green and that one doesn't really look overall green either. So let's work with the ones that are green based. This one has, um, I think this is not my watercolor. I think this is from these watercolors, these paper mill liquid, they're actually liquid ink. So they look like watercolor when they're on the paper, but they don't act like watercolor. You can't make them thicker. They're just always watery. Um, so, um, but I thought well, a lot of people don't have those, but this one, see, it's got this gold fleck in it. And so if you add that to the uh, mix, you get this gold fleck happening, uh, which is quite nice. But I thought, well, I won't use those as a demonstration because most people don't have those to play with. But was, that's why we've got some sparkle in there. So that one's quite nice. So, yeah, I also used those ones for these doodles that I did. So that one's predominantly green. It's got some nice pink highlights. It's quite nice, actually. We should have, Maybe we should have done tried to do that. But that's done with those inky ones. Um, I think this one's also done. No, I can't remember. Yeah, this one's done with the inky things because I can't get that colour in my watercolours, that bright pink. Um, so that one's done with that watercolour ink and this one's done with the watercolour ink. So they were fun to play with, but I thought, well, I, you know, you guys haven't got that watercolour ink, I assume. So um, it's meant to go that way, but then my leaves upside down. I don't know. <laughs> it was just a bit of fun. Um, and so anyway, let's get on to the doodling part. Okay, so what we're going to start with is just, we're going to do leaves. Since it's green, let's do leaves. A basic doodle. <laughs> Can't get much more basic than that, can you? Do I want to add black circles at the end or do I want to use some gold? The answer to that is I want to use some gold. Now you can draw your circles and then you can fill them in. So we can we can do that. Let's draw a reasonable size circle on the ends of these. Although we could, what we should do is do all the gold after because otherwise I'm going to lean on it. So no, let's not do that. Let's do all the black. Let's do this one that I got from uh, Creation CC. And we'll add some gold pattern in there as well all right one of my favorite ones that uh, creation cc did was this was this bloom of gold so we'll just draw it so i'll draw the center one first like that and then the second one comes from the same base okay and then we'll just color that in with gold all right what else can we do 
I've got to do something with this strange looking shape here. <laughs> I'm going to say what it looks like. So one way to get rid of that funny shape is to um, is to just doodle something in it, on it. So we're going to go across there to break that off, and then across there, and then we can continue that pattern to sort of remove that strange shape. A bit like a jigsaw puzzle now. Um, I might do some down here, and then you can you can add add some gold into the patches. This one I, did, I actually didn't copy from anyone else. This is one of my own, <laughs> which you can do. You can make your own up. If you haven't got any ideas, sometimes I run out of ideas, and I just get ideas from other people and. Um, yeah, there's only so many ways to draw little little tree things. All right, so looking at my own ideas, this one was completely done without any uh, assistance. I quite like this without that flower at the top. So um, I used, I will need a brush pen for that. So I might use this one, I think. do your circles at the end so I'm going to leave them because I'm probably going to do gold all right so this is another one from creation CC so she just made a, a sort of a tie shape and uh, Well, assuming it was a little bit different to this, but we'll make it work. She had it all meeting from the same point, and then some little circles like that coming out. Okay, and we'll fill that with gold, and that will look look a lot better. I think we might have another pattern, so that's not the only pattern on there. And then going the opposite way. So now we just follow the, um, the lines that are already there. Okay, so now we have black on somewhere, everywhere. So all we need to do now is do us some gold. Um, I tried this like last night and uh, it was super fun. So I was using this brush to use to fill in and I just added a bit of water in here actually to make my, um, to make the little gold bits. So we're going to, because it dries really quick. I don't know why, but uh, as soon as you wet these paints, they dry. So I'm just going to get some water. Now I really love this gold. This is my favourite gold. It's got this... Um, squidgy sort of look to it. All right, let's try some of this. We're going to have our gold circles to start with. Now, what I'm going to actually do um, with these circles, I like them two different types of colours. So there's not too much difference between my golds 
So I think I might use some of the bronze. It dries super quick for some reason. I don't really know why. I want like to have some of this pink. Okay, so that is, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, to me it looks really pretty. See the different colours of um, pink, yellow and bronze? Yeah, I love that. It looks really noticeable to me, but you can't really notice it on the screen. So these paints are a little bit hard to work with, but they're, um, yeah. I mean, you can make a splodge of them over here, or you can try to, but each time you wet them, it soon dries. So it's just something to be aware of. Now, I'd like to use some of this, my favourite gold, on these big leaves. So I will need to um, create a uh, decent well of it. It doesn't dry as quick over here as it does in the well. It's like, like it soaks in and then disappears. It's just really quite beautiful. I'm going to do half and half of this gold here. So with this one, we're just going to do dots. All right, the next one is this, this leaf here, but this brush here is going to be a little bit too small, I think. I wonder if I can do three different colored leaves. Let's try that. I love this gold. Look how good it's shimmering. Does it shimmer for you guys? It shimmers as it goes down, like as, as the gold. It's almost like it's pure gold. So nice. Yummy. <laughs> All right, let's do a bronze. Okay, do a bronze here. Very sparkly, isn't it? And then we'll just need to add some bronze elsewhere. There's a little bit in the middle, but not as much as I'd like. Okay, bronze and then maybe some pink. That might be nice. So we shouldn't put quite so much water in the uh, corners. And if you don't like... <laughs> fine detailed work you might not like doing it like this you could use a gold pen I mean I'm using paint but you could use a gold gold pen to do your gold accents quite easily I just love these paints I think they're just gorgeous okay right so we might need to add some bronze in um, where else can we do some bronze okay let's do some let's do the same thing over here Let's change which one we do it to. Let's do the middle one bronze this time. One of them pink. little dot of pink which you can't really tell when they're so small which ones are which at this stage um, okay and then a, another color of the gold well you we'll, we'll keep using the same gold because I don't want to mix too many golds on here so we, it's like a lava almost maybe I should have gone to the Smaller brush. To get those corners in because that one's a bit of a mess down there. Well, we might be able to go over it with a black pen. Once it's dry. Alright, these wavy lines, I like to um, 
do, do stripes with the uh, various different golds and things. I prefer to do the black pen first because then I don't have to think about where I'm doing what I'm doing with the brush. I can just basically fill in the little gaps. Whereas I know Creation, she see she's some uh, her recent more recent ones. She she will do a paint her doodles with her gold brush, but I'm not. Uh, if you're confident, you can do it that way. But I fill fill in the fill in the spaces between the lines. I find this a little bit easier to paint with, and it's a bit brighter. Than, um, than this one. If you prefer, if you prefer a duller gold, then the Liquitex one is probably better. I quite and Creations on CC does she doesn't like bright gold. She uses a pale gold, but I like the bright. The green and the black looks quite nice together. I think. Um, let's do some down here. Just need a bit more gold in here. Let's have some down here. And then we're going to change to something else. Alright, well, let's change to something else now. What else should we use? We'll use the bronze, I think. Getting some gold mixed in with the bronze, but okay, that's what matters. All right, let's try a different color. So pink, it's, it's actually rose gold. Let's do some dots. Okay, let's try just painting some leaves on here. Let's do some bronze in here because we haven't got any bronze. I might add some bronze berries, or well, maybe some pink berries. Not sure whether that looked any better, but anyway, now we're going to do pink ones in here. Oops, it's gone over. It's actually gone over my line, so I might have to add those in. It's okay. 
that just now all of the squares need to have some other gold or shiny paint otherwise they look a bit like they're too different so I like those lines but we may have to add them in this dries I'm going to add some gold dots around Right, let's just add some more um, colours to these. Yeah. All right, that's a bit better. I don't know if it's better, but it's uh, <laughs> filled up a space. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is let's try the 0 0.1. I think I'm going to go over these leaves and try and give them a better shape or a more defined shape, I should say. Might make a bit more of a mess than I wanted. I might have to just go around the edge of them, not on them. See, this is what happens when you go rogue. <laughs> I'd have been better off drawing the leaves first and then adding the gold into them. Not sure that going over the paint is that sort of a good an idea, but we're just going to put them in very slightly. Just to give it a bit more variety, I might actually you know, just add some things in here. Okay, I think we're done. I've just added a couple of little extra bits and bobs to that one. Just felt it looked a bit bare. Could probably show up something in the corner here, maybe a pink leaf, but I haven't done it. And then there's a middle group. Just trying to get the colour to shine on them. And then the bottom ones. I mean, you really can't go wrong <laughs> with gold paint or gold ink or gold pen. There's my uh, my doodle on predominantly green backgrounds. Well, that's it for today because the video is quite long. Um, I do intend to uh, do another video, part two, where we're just going to basically just going to doodle on as many of these as we can without having to go through the painting process. So I'll see how many we can get through of those. So these are what we've done today. We've done the the green and gold one for the for the uh, challenge. So check out everybody's um, doodles. There will be a playlist in the uh, links below in my description box for uh, all of the challenge there'll be a playlist you can click on the hashtag uh, hashtag 2022 doodle challenge mar mar for march uh, also check out my co-host uh, lovely lee from lee's art studio i haven't of course seen hers but i'm sure it will be a gorgeous doodly arty project okay so these are as i say some of the other ones that i have done um, while i was kind of like playing around and to be honest i just had so much fun i just kept doing it <laughs> <laughs> you know at first I just thought oh I'll just have a bit of a practice and see how I go and then I enjoyed it so much that I you know kept finishing but you know I thought well I'll do colors that I can't use for the challenge and that way then um, yeah so pink and purples um, this one was sort of starting to do greens but was predominantly sort of red and orange I mean you could have done this one for the green and I just used a white marker for that one um, and yeah uh, actually I think it goes that way up <laughs> well the flowers are upside down there we go now the flowers are the right way up the only one I don't like about that one is this one here I just didn't leave any spaces so it's nice to leave some color and some space without doodle on it so I could have left some of that green or that pink without any doodles but other than that I'm pretty happy with that I think this one might have been the first one I did when I was having a go 
so yeah got the pinks out of that other watercolor i mean obviously there's a boo boo there but it doesn't really matter i just turned it into a, as if it was intentional by doodling on it <laughs> and i wrote hello on one of them and i was just trying out different things so so that was fun too so they're my uh, current doodles that i have dundled <laughs> dundled in my doodles that i've dundled <laughs> The other thing is giveaway. So I was thinking, how about today we do a different giveaway? What's well, the same? I mean, what's in the envelopes is the same. It's currently um, what I'm doing in this envelope is predominantly green. I'll take that one away. Predominantly green. So we've got a green car, <laughs> an arty kind of card, it's a canasta card, a, a greenish peacock card, and gold to go with the gold, which. Is, uh, has got actual gold apparently on it uh, a greenish looking boat which I don't think anyone's had before the green National Trust and gold edged um, purpley colored card of course there's a whole bunch of my stamps kind of like you know filtered through and made sure you didn't get 300 of those <laughs> you only get three or two so there's a bunch of stamps yeah that's it a bunch of stamps a pile of card three envelopes to give away so what i was thinking is we've got a lot of new subscribers if you haven't won a prize let me know in the comments hi julie yes i'd love the uh, stamps and and playing cards no i haven't won any in the past <laughs> i've been trying since last november or whatever <laughs> it doesn't matter what your comment is i read every comment that comes in and i will give you guys a number so there will be i don't know 20 or 30 maybe people who watch this video and would like to win the the uh, prize I mean if you're a person who has loads of stamps and loads of cards and you don't need to win a prize then no need to let me know um, just comment on something else <laughs> on the video but if you'd like to win something and you haven't won anything before make your comment and I will give you a number and then on part two when we get round to doing the other ah, so we had a bit of a battery uh, outage <laughs> let me know if you have not won a prize and that way i will give you guys a number and then we will use the random number generator and on the next video part two which will be out on friday uh, at some point in time i can't give you a time but when part two comes out i will draw the prize from the people who have made their comments saying that they haven't won a prize yet so you'll have to be quick <laughs> um so this one's a instead of waiting a whole month you only have to wait a couple of days so we're going to draw it on Friday. All right, I think that's actually it. So thank you very much to everyone. All you'll need to do is to be subscribed, uh, make a comment on this video, watch part two, and you will need to watch part two, see your name drawn out if you win, <laughs> and comment on that video as well to say that you saw your name drawn out and then you'll have to email me your address. And so this prize is for basically anyone who hasn't won a prize. Um, and I think that's, uh, yeah, something different. Yeah, that's all, I think. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.